Hi everybody. I wish I was there with all of you because this is a subject which is very close to our collective work in Mumbai and in other cities and in STI. But since I can't come, I'm going to try something else. The issue of cities being safe for everybody is a very important and burning issue today as it will be in the foreseeable future. And we have to work today to ensure that peace, safe cities and the right of every individual to assume that they can go around the city without any fears is something that we all have to work for today. To expect a city or its police force alone to manage law and order is not going to produce safe cities. The production of peace is one that comes out of every individual's commitment to ensuring their own safety and being vigilant about everybody else around them. It is this feature that first and foremost produces citizenship and a sense of producing collective good. And to this end, Spark, Mahila Milan and NSTF ventured on a very interesting program at over a decade ago, starting in Pune. What this process produced was a committee of 11 people, seven women from the local Mahila Milan group, three men that the community collectively nominated, and one policeman. What they do together is to create a timetable where they meet every week or every fortnight or even bi-weekly at a particular place where people can come with their complaints or their fears or two sets of people having an argument can come together to seek arbitration. Regardless of what the problem was, both sides would be heard and the group would suggest a way out. If this was accepted, both parties signed off and the matter ended there with a clear understanding that if there was any breach, the panchayat would look at it again. If for some reason the solution was not acceptable, then the panchayat took that set two sets of people and took them to the police station and registered a complaint. But by and large, most of these problems were solved right on site. This produced things that were useful for the community. It also produced things that were good for the police. As Commissioner A. N. Roy said to us, that the police force doesn't become vigilant and accountable by themselves. They need relationships with communities that hold them accountable for their procedures, their systems. And this was an important way to socialize policemen and police chowkis and police stations to what was happening in informal settlements, to identify people who were leaders in localities, to come to them if they needed problems to be solved, and to respect these people when they came to the police station. In 2005, Commissioner Roy came to Mumbai, and we started the same program there. And today, in Mumbai, there are about 200 such police panchayats. There are competitions and awards for those that produce outstanding results. And there's a yearly celebration where the police force, the home minister, and all the community leaders from all the neighborhoods come and share their stories, share their challenges, make requests to each other, the police to the communities and the communities to the police to produce a demonstrated, scalable strategy of how 
within informal settlements, which are rarely policed by the city, there can be a sense of safety. Now, having said that, we also need to acknowledge that just citizen action and police action doesn't produce safety in cities. There are much larger issues at play. One is haphazard growth, producing uh, buildings, producing neighborhoods where the public aspect of safety are just not looked at. There are no defensible spaces, there are dark alleyways, and there are spaces where people begin to get afraid to go. The other challenge is that more and more of the city operates in informality because development doesn't acknowledge the need of the poor and their habitat issues. And as densification grows, as, as the whole issue of tensions of fighting with the city, fighting with each other for water, for sanitation, for access to transport, all these things produce tensions and anxieties that somehow inevitably get transmitted to acts of violence on those who are vulnerable, which would be old people, young children and women. And these acts of violence can be heckling to rape, to murder, to kidnapping. And therefore, the whole challenge of addressing the larger elements of developing inclusive and safe cities go hand in hand. And therefore, it's very important that the larger values that everybody agrees to in a city become a very important political agenda.